All right, guys, we're back for day two on Project Jeff. Just to give you a little bit of a recap where we've done so far, we've removed axis three, four, five, and six, and what's left is the dreaded axis two. And the problem is, axis two is counterbalanced by this system. This is the counterbalance unit, and we need to remove this without killing anyone. And if we're really lucky, we hope to be done by lunch. Done by lunch. We hope to be done by lunch. Ah. Oh. So I think that's supposed to be nitrogen. Yeah. Well, it's got a good head on it. That is so appetizing. <laughs> Good news is when you actually hit it, it moves. That's a wrap for the day. Everybody's stupid. We're done. We can't figure out which way to turn to loosen a bolt. We're done for the day. Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden and welcome to The Geek Group. We're back for day three on the Project Jeff One Day Autopsy. Still, it's better than the 15 part video series we had to do for Kevin. Though, back then that was because we could only make 10 minute videos. We weren't a partner yet. Today, Axis 2 and Axis 1 is the plan. Our goal is to end up with a clean pad ready for the new robot that's coming. You'll learn about that next week though. Today what we've done is we've got this slung up, we've got a hydraulic ram out, and we're using the forklift as ballast, basically. This is a nice, big, heavy mass. We've got the big steel counterweight on the back of the forklift, and we're going to be pushing against that. The only real concern here is not breaking anything inside. So we've got Casey's custom wrench inside, and that's going to disperse the load across the gearbox so that we can just push it right out. Now, we took the day off yesterday so that we could do a lot of experimentation with how do we want to sling this, how do we want to control it. It's really important if you're working around really heavy things, there's a lot of things to take in consideration. A lot of them are non-obvious. We're going to be doing videos in the future specifically on how to do safe rigging, how to handle load, stuff like that. This is not nearly as sketchy as some of the things we've done so far in this autopsy, but still, it's a little sketchy. Mainly because we don't exactly know how much this weighs other than a lot. It's less than a thousand pounds, but it's a lot. And we don't really know what it's going to want to do when it comes out. We know that this end of the arm is heavier than this end, and we know that the gearbox mounts in here and it's going to be attached to the arm. So when it comes out, it isn't just that it's going to want to fall, it's that it's going to want to spin this way and it's going to want to rotate this way. We can reasonably guess that because the gearbox is a concentrated weight. There's nothing out here at all. This is just the bare naked arm, which is just one big solid aluminum casting. So because of that, because we know it's going to want to twist this way and this way, we've made sure to grab it with separate straps because if you did it with just one, like a lot of the way we were rigging it the, the other day, the, the arm could spin. This way the arm can't roll this way because we have two separate straps. We've got this strap anchored in such a way where it can't fall off the end or anything like that. And this strap actually goes through the, the eye here for the counterbalance so that it can't fall off that way and it's hung from the top so it's going to, when it comes out it'll probably tip a little bit this way, but it won't spin this way and it won't roll all the way. So that's what we've got so far on the arm. And we're lifting this with our big beautiful AFF engine hoist which is beefy and can easily handle the weight of the arm. Oh, that's really it. The entire plan for today is to get Axis 1 or Axis 2 off and separate Axis 1. So when we're done, we should end up with three big pieces and a couple little things. So with that, let's go. You're moving the forklift. I swear to God, you're moving the yeah, forklift. I see it. Okay, let that pressure off. We'll grab a different spot. <laughs> the forklift moves <laughs> the, the tires of the forklift deformed. 
and it moved over to the side. <laughs> All right, put it back. Take all the pressure off of that. It's all off. Uh, I'm gonna attempt to spread it. Mm. But I don't have a lot to grab onto. Mm, and it's sketchy as f but I'm gonna give it a shot. Alright. Give me a picker for the other side. Yeah, I like that. This is our discount jaws of life. <laughs> You're not wrong. Yeah, that Put it right there. Ready? Yep. Priming. Yeah, I don't want any tension on this one. Just, just come in until you got a bite. A little bit more. Keep going. Stop. Wait. A little bit more. Okay, hold it. That won't hold itself there. Um, there we go, that. Now it's good? Going. Yeah. All right. Get anything out of that? I just lost like all pressure. Yeah? Okay, stop. Bleed it down. Let it fall. Why did we lose all pressure? I don't know. It might have a max out valve. Right. It might, and we might have surpassed it. All right, I have an idea. Okay. Move everything from behind here, take everything off the forklift. I need to be able to turn the forklift back up that way as far as possible. I got a foot to back up, and I think I need about six inches of space, but I got to boom down a bit. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Let's see if this works. You overpowered the brake. Huh? You overpowered oh, the yeah, brake of the I motor. Noticed. You didn't get any bigger gap. It didn't didn't make any difference at all. Actually, or is it separating somewhere we weren't expecting? That's exactly the same as it was. In case you got pipe pieces or metal pieces. Alright, let's Alright, let's try Casey's idea. This doesn't work. I'm taking Art. out all the other bolts. That's my next idea, is all the other bolts. Lean on it a bit, Batman. Stop. 
Shot. Release it. Yeah. <laughs> Release it all the way. Now you can go anywhere you want. All right. Take it all out. We're taking out the bolts. How the hell did he get that in there? Magic. You can't bend that. Get that out of there. <laughs> How the hell did you get that in? Well, see, it's bent, so it just gets right out. Of All right, let me see those two pieces because we'll want to show that. I'd like to point out, I can jump on that. <laughs> yeah. All right, so this is what we're going to do. Set the arm down. We're going to change rigging because we're going to grab it just at the end because we're going to need to bring it through a full cycle to get all the bolts, but we start with it all the way down. Back your card up. Okay, stop, stop, stop. All right. You may have to go to Coochie's. We may need to get creative with ratchet wrenches. We need the biggest, beefiest ratchet wrench we have. Okay. Okay, I'm talking like three quarter, one inch drive. It needs to have an extension that'll get us outside of the box. And it needs to have a socket that is impressive that will fit the bolts through the hole. So come up right. a little bit. I'm gonna line you up for the first bolt. Okay, gently. Give me another one. Give me another one. Keep going. Keep going. Slow down. Give me one more easy. Stop. Right there. You're lined up for the first bolt. First pair of bolts. Now, Casey, I need this cover to rotate, please, until the notches line up with the holes. So the mission is get like a, I think it's going to be at least half inch drive, maybe three quarter. Well, it's going to have to, because there's so much torsion. Yeah, the um, Allen ratchet piece that we have is a half inch drive okay. for that size. I might see if we can find a three quarter inch drive. Because if I do, I know we've got a big ratchet, like a big wrench. We need a big extension of like, what, what do you think? Half, and half, yeah, 18 inches or so. And a half inch or even three quarter inch drive, 14 Allen head socket thing. Did it? Did we break something? No, it slid off of here. Hi, yeah, man. Mm. Find out where we can buy one of these with a bigger size drive. One of these bigger in thickness. The length is great. I don't want a shorter one, but I want a thicker one. A bigger one of those. So let's step up a size. Let's see if we can get it in three quarter. I'll bet we can. Over the top. A little bit, just a little bit. Keep going. Got one more hole. A little bit more. Bruce, keep that up. A little bit more. A little bit. Just a little bit. Can we go record? I'm going to go forward. It. Someone's got to smack the arm forward a bit. All right, Bruce, you can set that down. Yeah, that'll be okay. And pull the arm. No, it's far enough. That'll work. We, we can we can monkey with it in a bit. We need that bottom hole right before the thing and that yep. hole over there. All right, um, see that big bolt? Grab the other one down there. 
Put one bolt in that hole there that looks different from the other. That, the bottom hole there, yep. And the one straight across from it. Here, we're let me really stick need to my hand in. Well, we can, we can wrangle that in a second. All right, let's twiddle the arm a little bit. Um, just grab it up here, right here. Pull, just a little bit. There you go, stop. Now I screw that in. Batman put an extension on that, just a little one. I don't need a lot, but some kind of extension would be good. Huh? Oh, before we do that, if this moves at all, we're gonna, well, actually, before we go, Batman's gonna swap that around so we got a good grip on it. Run it through, uh -huh. grab the whole thing. Can I get back in here? No, not right now. Okay. So you wanna tighten that before I move, or? Yeah, yeah, I do. Um. Oh yeah. Go ahead. Come on, man. There you go. Come back. All right. All clear the arm. The arm is dangerous. The arm will kill us all. I need someone to lose the first thing. I'll do it. At this point, the arm can kick wild this way, which is bad, but it can't fall down. The arm's going to come out and swing like this, hard and fast, when it, when it loads that sling. But let me see if I can make something move somewhere. That is a new sound. Yeah. It's moving. It moved. You see that? Yeah. I got a whole lot of new track. All right. So that's this is the push method. In case this is the track. push method. All right. We got, to be able to, we got a longer extension, so you shouldn't be that scared. It isn't a long extension. It's we're gonna need to be the hell out of the way. Yep. How much? Because there's like Look, no you're, resistance. You're now like even on the other side. All right. There's like no resistance on that at all. There's well, no resistance on that. Swing out. No, 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 no. You know what we do? Smack with the hammer from this side. No! What you... Give me the impact with a crazy long extension. I want like 10 feet of extension. Well, I want to be outside. Those, those two are my longest extensions. There's one on the floor right behind you. Okay. Get the impact. Oh, he's going to grab a fresh battery. We got any other, we got any other half inch extensions? Maybe. See what we got. Oop, that's moving now. All right. Back up. Oh, you got it! Yeah! <laughs> All right, get her low. Stop. All right, take it out, pallet it. Just, just leave it there, Bruce. Well, then I gotta pick it back up. Yeah. It's all right. Take it out and pallet it. There. That's beautiful. Whew. That's one of the hairier things I've ever done with a robot. Wow, it dug right into that machine surface, too. I bet. That was on there. So now we take the motor out. For real this time. Yeah. Now we take the motor out, we take the cables out. And then we pop the top.
best practice with this one. Yeah. And back on the pallet again. See how we, there's, there's no possible way to access that bolt, and half of them in here, right? But if you look closely, there's very obviously a seam there. You think it picks up? I think when you yeah. take those bolts off, that seam, this, this piece is going to pop up, and this piece is going to stay. That, that's, mm -hmm. These would be like going it. into the plate. Because there's, there's nothing, you, yeah. you see nothing through. All right, well, let's pop off everything on the bottom and see what we can see. Try yes, universal. You, can't, you right. can't take that bolt out with this casting here. Right. I think I think this whole thing's gonna pop off. We're gonna be left with that still there. Which is that cool? Yeah, that'll be really awesome. Because then you can make like a table top. Yep. 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 All right. Pop them out. Open so we're back in here. Yep. I want one bolt in there, just just finger tight. Well, I can leave one. I haven't taken them off. I need to, yeah, I need, I need it back there because when you spin oh. this around, this may be a little bit nose heavy and it might tip. And I All just right. want to make sure you're. I safe. need to. You need to rotate it anyway. All right. Well, stand up. Let's move it. Rotate 180. Let's put this over there. Okay, good. Alright. I'll all put right. that one. Huh? I'll put that one. The one that just went in. in. Alright. Put all the bolts in the bucket. Bruce, yeah. get in there. All the bolts in the bucket, a little clean up around it, loose tools and whatnot. Batman, give me a swing. I'm gonna need two slings. Run that one through here, out here. Big hole, little hole. You got two little holes. No, nope, no, nope. here it's right up here. Right here at the back. Yeah, should be good. Yep, we should be fine. All right, all right. Hold that there. Batman, get ready with the forklift. Go in. Up, up. You're good. You know what I mean. I mean, speed, Mr. Sulu. Don't come to him. Let him come to you. Come on up. Good, come on in. Hold it right there, let it, let it go right on through. You're gonna go about... Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Good, all right, tension. Now, grab it from the outside by just your fingertips. Just, just like that. I go. Back out, all the way. Like, set it up here, we're not gonna need it for a minute. You're good. Thank you, sir. We're missing something. And now whoever's holding the CR is gonna be really snug. Swing a little bit. Swing 45. I see one. Yep. Yeah. All right. Swing 45. Batman. 
Do we want to go that way? So it's a bolder one? It's like right here. All right, so we want to turn it so it's 90 back to front. That like, would work out to the front. From side to yeah. side. All right, Bowden, move. Wait, go ahead. We're coming towards you. Yeah, go ahead. I put a bolt in the cheater hole. There'll be another one over there. Oh, All right, we got right, cheater. We got we cheater got pins in it. Yep. Let's pop it. And it, it, this whole thing is about to pop and separate. I think. If it works like the last one did, we got this, and then we'll be able to lift it easy. Oh, okay, I got you. Not, not with. You'll have to use an actual wrench to get it to get it first popped. That's the sound. Get to the other side. Maybe. That's why we need a mag drill. Mm -hmm. right. In the worst case, this flips, It'll but just... I don't think it will. All right. You're good here. Come on up. Good there? Yeah. Start, start coming up. Yeah? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Everybody take a step back. Muscle dog. Bouncing baby robot. We completely clear? Uh, we got a little gasket thing. Just keep coming up a bit. All right, all right. Straight back, you're good. Quite lovely. And we'll just set that on a pallet. Come on down. Keep back up a little bit. Come on down. Down, down, down. Beautiful. All right. Watch out. That'll be sharp. Yeah, itself. I made it. Good there. Let's just drop that on a pallet. It's golden. Down to the final boss. Did we just separated axis one. <laughs> I'd like to point out Batman just used a quarter inch drive, quarter inch hex drive. They weren't under any a, tension. To a 3 8 adapter, to half inch. A 3 8 to half inch adapter, to a 36 millimeter impact socket. That, yeah. that is the most ridiculous setup in history. Right there, that's, that's something. All right, guys, so I want to thank everybody for hanging out and watching the most epic autopsy we've ever done. This was a three-day shoot, and we're done just in time for lunch. So you'll be able to see all of these component pieces, like Axis 1, the base, uh, in subsequent autopsy videos. It'll be coming out sometime soon. I don't know when, but thank you for hanging out. You guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden, and thank you to the entire video team and the massive crew here that helped out on the biggest autopsy ever. You guys have fun. We'll see you next time. Take us out. We'd like to thank you for watching this Geek Group video. That's all, folks.